Hey guys, Jason here for Chart Guys, taking a look at gold. It's Monday, so we clear our charts for a fresh perspective. First thing that I want to talk about is in the monthly time frame, we have the potential here for a monthly bull flag, which would be that perfect consolidation following the breakout of this very, very long and drawn out equilibrium. We saw that break, it did very well, and now we're looking for that consolidation. Our monthly RSI is at 6337, and really to stay in this pattern, I don't want to see us go below 1445. If we do, then that's going to look really heavy for us. And it's going to really, to me, indicate that more consolidation is due on the monthly time frame, and we just don't have the strength here. So I think overall, uh, gold is just waiting for some pullback in the markets. Uh, we are seeing a lot of just unbridled strength in the S&P ETFs and in QQQ. And as soon as we start to see some consolidation there, I think that uh, the gold bulls are going to be ready to pounce and, and seize that opportunity for further upside. So we're paying special attention to the market in general and to the reaction in the gold markets that may come from a downturn in the S&P and the QQQ. So with that said, potential bull flag here. We do have support on the daily or on the weekly time frame, but not a lot. Right now, the low of 1381 is going to be key. And then the last monthly support down here at 1266. And then we have monthly resistance at the top of our candlestick 1556.88. On the weekly time frame, things are ever so slightly different. Here we see this weekly downtrend setting new lows and lower highs. And we've got the potential here for a weekly bear flag. Basically, if we finish the rest of the week sitting right here where we are, or even a little bit red, this would be a nice setup for a very, very short three period bear flag. And then we would be looking for the loss of that 1445 level for execution of that. Should we see that, then we're gonna go look at that 1381.62 level for our weekly support. But bulls have the opportunity to turn things around here. If we stay above 1445, we may flesh out that monthly uh, bull flag that we we're talking about and that's really what I'm looking for on the weekly time frame Let's not see this execute. We don't want any more bearish activity to follow and uh, We're gonna look for trend changes on the daily four-hour time frame to help the bulls try and change that narrative Anyway, weekly time frame pinned between EMA 26 and EMA 12 and that will continue until those daily bulls show up on the daily time frame, here is that nice tightening range, almost a bear flag, but we have a little bit of a rounded bottom, a couple indecision candlesticks, and we talked about this last week, how we slowed right down, carved out that base of support, established that new daily low, and now we're trying to fight our way over EMA 12 on the daily time frame. Should be able, bulls be able to do that, we are going to be looking at new higher highs and higher lows, trying to carve out that new daily trend. And that could just be right in here. And we're going to pay special attention to that, see if we can't get some more upside on the weekly and break that really nasty looking uh, start to a uh, weekly bear flag. To do that, we're going to need to see these four hour bulls regain control. They were in a nice uptrend. Now they're in a downtrend coming up and testing this area of 1474. Almost a double top on the four hour time frame. Bulls need to get over that and then continue setting higher lows. And on the hourly, we see that we are trying to do that right now. Almost a bull flag, a very, very close tightening range. If I said this is a 15 minute equilibrium, I think it would be a little weak and we may even have broken it already. But we're going to pay special attention primarily to how bulls handle this test of the EMA5. If we grind this EMA5, we can see the bulls consolidate a little bit more. We have a chance of punching through 1474, which is going to be a new high for us on the four hour time frame, allowing bulls to set a new higher high, possibly a higher low situation. And then on the daily, getting outside and above this EMA 12. That would help us on the weekly. And let's be optimistic and see what the bulls can do. We'll check in tomorrow and see how they did.